Understanding in the privacy of a guide to personal space in English. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a phrase that's all about personal space and confidentiality. In the privacy of. This phrase is a key part of the English language, often used to describe actions taken away from the public eye. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your fluency, this video is your gateway to understanding and using this phrase effectively. So, let's get started. In the privacy of, is a phrase that implies that something is done in a place where one is free from interruption or observation by others. It's about having a personal or confidential space where one can be alone or with selected people. For example, she likes to read her favorite books in the privacy of her own room. This means she enjoys reading where she won't be disturbed or watched. This phrase can be used in various contexts. 1. Home environment. When referring to activities done at home without outsiders. For instance, he practices the piano in the privacy of his living room. 2. Confidential matters. When discussing sensitive or personal issues, like, they discuss the confidential details in the privacy of the office. 3. Contrast with public spaces. To emphasize that an action is done privately, not publicly. She prefers to make important phone calls in the privacy of her study, away from the bustling cafe. While using, in the privacy of, it's crucial to avoid these common errors. 1. Redundancy. Avoid using redundant words that convey the same meaning as privacy. For instance, saying, in the private privacy of, is repetitive. 2. Incorrect preposition usage. Don't replace of with other prepositions. It's always in the privacy of, not in the privacy from, or in the privacy with. Let's practice. Transform these sentences to include, in the privacy of. 1. Original. She danced in her room where no one could see her. 2. Transformed. She danced in the privacy of her room. 3. Original. He made the phone call away from his colleagues. 4. Transformed. He made the phone call in the privacy of a separate room. And that's a wrap on, in the privacy of. Remember, this phrase is your go-to when you want to express that something is done in a personal or confidential space. Use it wisely, and your English will sound more natural and precise. Hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and see you in our next lesson.